Hello, hello, how are you all doing? Yaji here, welcome to my channel and welcome to my garden. In today's video, I'd like to share with you what my plants are for my garden for the month of August. So what you do for your garden depends on where you are because the weather is different, you know, based on where you are. So what I'm sharing is based on the fact that I'm here in Houston in zone all nine. Right. So what do I plan to do for the month of August? As you all know, my garden is here in zone nine in Houston, Texas. And August in Houston is hot as hell. It's very hot, very humid, and a lot of mosquitoes outside. So I try to limit how much time I spend in the garden and my number one goal for august gardening is usually just to keep the plants alive <laughs> to keep up with the watering so that the roots don't dry up and the plants that i already have do not die that is my number one goal the second thing that is on my agenda for this month of august is to harvest and process you all know growing the crops is one thing harvesting then processing for storage is a whole nother thing if you're not careful you can end up with all of these vegetables and they get bad in the garden just because of the work that it takes to harvest and process so i'm using a lot of my energy this month of august to make sure that i harvest and then you know process freeze the vegetables dehydrate some of the peppers maybe even cook pre-cook some of the things just to make sure that i have enough saved for for the winter months when these are no longer producing and of course you can still plant in the month of august it's what i would rather not do but if you're just starting a garden you can still put some seeds in the ground for example you can still plant corn you can start with something like cauliflower you can plant pumpkins you can plant peppers this month of August and a whole lot of other things. Just do a quick Google search using the keyword, what can I plant in August in Houston or wherever you are, and you should come up with some ideas. Now, when you're making the selection, keep in mind um, what you enjoy to eat. Don't just plant for the sake of planting unless you are experimenting. Actually cultivate what makes the most sense to you what adds the most value to you because growing a garden is a lot of time and a lot of money involved a lot of resources so you don't want all of that to go to waste you want it to be meaningful of course you can still plan some things for this month of august um there are things that you can start from seeds but i would recommend that if you have transplants things that you can start from seedlings start from seedlings for me it's gonna be these bitter leaves i'm making space to put all of my bitter leaves in ground or put them in containers what i will do is um get rid of the garden huckleberry the country jaman jama i'm just going to use scissors cut from the bottom then remove the uh, roots and then i'm going to plant some of my bitter leaves over here I managed to have a small basket full. That's fine. I can feed one person. Then now I'm going to just go ahead and offroot this and create space. I'm thinking put the bitter leaves here or maybe the corn. I don't know. I'm beginning to change my mind. But these have to go. all right so this is how that bed is looking like i remove all of the conching jama jama that was here and i can't decide whether i should put the bitter leaves here or whether i should plant corn i think i'm leaning towards the corn so i'm gonna go ahead and put the corn seeds in two rows try to do it right this time to ensure that they are properly pollinated so I'm going to put two seeds in a hole about a foot apart and then plant two rows, one down this way and one down this way. 